All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We are continuing our weed sector review, looking at the Canadian side, four tickers this time instead of three, okay? The last one was a user request, and look, whether you're one of my favorites or you're someone that's new, if you comment and you you ask for a new stock, I really do my best to say yes almost every single time, you know? So please don't hesitate. Whether you disagree with me, whether you agree, what, if you want me to look at something else, just throw it in the comments. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm so grateful that there's people here watching and, and talking. It's, it's super, super cool, okay? Um, real quick, before we get into the details of what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up. We have our five moving averages, these horizontal support and resistance lines I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like and subscribe, it does really well with the YouTube algorithms. But even if you don't, I, I'm so, so happy you're here. I kind of said that in the beginning. And then, um, hey, if you disagree with anything, actually throw it in the comments for real. So um, let's get into it. So this used to be TGOD. Okay, T God F on my videos because again I live in LA and I can't see the Canadian index. I have to look at the the pink counter equivalent basically. So T God is no longer a stock and it is now Bzam. And then again for me Bzam F. So what's really interesting is generally when a stock changes, it res it being the system I use, it resets the chart. I think the fact that it went from a pink stock to a pink stock is why it stayed. And I mean, this this is what we were tracking on T God last video, right? It finally broke it. It broke the the fifty. I mean, it, it was it was monstrous, right? And it's funny because if you watch the MSOS video, this is the complete opposite. It came to the monster moment. It had a little bit of a fake out, and then look, I'll be real honest, okay? I'm not sure. If if this change of name had some like SPAC following thing, because again, when a SPAC changes a name, it, it generally runs a lot. And it's funny that the US stock looks like this, because on my phone, I can at least see what the Canadian index looks like. The Canadian index was a complete full candle. Definitely no wick. Like people in Canada were buying to the very last second. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a little interesting to see the wick here versus a full candle Canadian. And again, if you watch my videos, I hope you know what to do with it, right? So with that, what am I looking at? Man, I'm looking at some good stuff, but first and foremost, tomorrow matters a little bit more than Friday did. Okay, one beautiful day is really cool, but as I zoom out on this, right, I mean, this thing has been nothing more than a bunch of pain, right? So it was super, super cool to have one good day. I'm not trying to take that away, but is it gonna do it again on Friday? Or is this, I mean, sorry, on Monday? Or is this gonna be a complete moment in the past and we're just gonna keep going down, right? That's what I really care about. Um, I don't need to draw any other lower lines because honestly, look, this is roughly 50% of the of the candle too, which is actually pretty funny, right? Um, but yeah, once it broke this line, even if you waited for this line, you can see obviously if you sold at the very top, it was really, really silly. But yeah, there was still half the profit to be made if you waited for what I always call the, the safest moment of trading, right? Obviously, this is going to be a resistance and this is going to be a resistance right here. But just looking at this red, 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 beautiful little ladder. I mean, it seems like, oh, it's right on the 200. Okay, yeah. So this 52 cent US seems like the a good place to put the high target. Couple things jumping out real quick though, right? 75 RSI is a little high, especially for an over-the-counter pink stock, right? Um, maybe the Canadian number is a little lower, but that 75 is pretty high. However, I mean, you can barely see it there, but that's a nice MACD. That's an even nicer RSI. And that actually is good volume, right? So you are going check, 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 and you do have a check here, right? So what am I looking at? Obviously, I'm putting a line right here, right? Right at the top of this big bad boy. If, what does it actually close at? Oh, is that 35 exactly? All right. So yeah, let me know if we can get over... 36, oh, one. no, that's way too far, sorry, 3501, 
Sorry about that. Cool. Again, an alert is not an immediate buy notification, but it's definitely a, hey, come look at the charts and see what everything else is looking like, right? But um, yeah, look, if this opens up, there's at least a chance it'll wick this or this one more time. There's a real good likelihood though of actually coming back to either this line or right here on the moving averages. Because again, what did we do? We destroyed three on a single candle. You know I need monster confirmation and that's basically gonna mean closing at least over the 100. Close at like 42, 40, yeah, 41 and change 42 and, and I'll be real happy. You know what I mean? Because again, even if you close like right here, by no means is that good confirmation for again, breaking three moving averages on a single candle, right? So um, nonetheless, so there could be an interesting day trade in this at least. And yeah, if it breaks this, that's good there. And then you have a good shot of going there. Um, from there, let's just take a look at the weekly real quick. Man, this is actually a little higher. This is saying this can actually go to 60, right? So where was the 200? It was actually at the low 50s. If we break that, we at least might even see a good 60s based on the weekly right there. Um, what's that number right there? Man, that actually even says almost 70. Because again, where are we? That's a bunch of red, 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 red over the weekly, right? So... Um, this thing might, and again, this is on the weekly chart, so it's not necessarily something that'll happen over the next couple of days. Hey, maybe it'll wick it, right? But this thing says it actually wants to close in the 70s, um, which is pretty interesting, right? Because again, that's a nice MACD, that's a nice RSI. Volume's at least been, we'll call it neutral over the last five, but definitely good over the last three, right? One important thing I gotta say, because again, it's definitely been five minutes of positivity. The major markets on the US side are looking a little shaky. And if those start to do poorly, you can only imagine what a, what a penny stock or anything else might do, right? So just kind of keep that in your back pocket. But yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot of positivity here and there really might be a, a, a 2x play um, and you can see it actually happened on Friday, right? It might happen again, but it could very quickly, like I said, come down to this 30 or this 28.5 range, uh, pending how things go. But yeah, this this is definitely the, the most interesting of these four for sure. TCNNF, again, truly is a Canadian stock, so I have to look at the pink counter using these five. Um, man, that's, that's not good, right? It really isn't. So um, I'll be honest, I don't really remember the last time we made the video, but just kind of looking at this, a few things are jumping out, right? Definitely a nice little run, okay? How low was the RSI? It actually wasn't, oh, okay. We've made a decent move. So there's been a good amount of stocks in this sector that are starting to hit this single digit. You can see this one's double digit here. It was at 10, right? But um, there's been a lot of single digit RSIs and, and yeah, this thing runs actually, it, it doesn't scream it on the charts, right? But yeah, it did a healthy recovery and it's kind of back in the middle. But um, yeah, I don't know if this was an old line or new line, but clearly couldn't get over that. And it's been a real rough couple days, right? And at this point, where's the 200? Yeah, we're under all five moving averages. I don't know if that's an all time low number, is it? Oh man, yeah, the last thing you wanna do is lose 595. Cause that, wh look at how bad that looks actually. You see how the RSI, I'll zoom in a little bit more, but that's a steep down. How low is this RSI number? Again, that was in the tens right there. I don't even have to go that far back. It was in the tens not that long ago, which means there's still another like 50% down this thing can go. Look at the volume, that's just so ugly. Um, interesting little curvature right here on the MACD. Um, I'll be real honest, obviously red is over green and you know I don't like that, but I'm surprised that's kind of curving more than it is going down with this one, you know what I mean? But. Uh, maybe it was the fact that this actually really went up, but then obviously we saw the rejection from this week, right? From this week, right? Excuse me. Um, yeah, I think I think maybe that full again. I don't know the math to know why where these lines are going to go. I just know how to read them, right? So, um, but yeah, overall a whole mess of bad. Just looking at the weekly, nothing but under the eight and the twenty. Definitely, like I said, a good peak last week with bad confirmation this week, right? It really is about confirmation. You know that if you watch these videos. Money line is definitely going to be the seven seven seven, right? Because just 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stack of reds to climb. Um, and, and really a good distance between this one right here and then the next one after it, right? So will it get to that? Obviously, I'm talking more about don't lose this and go into all-time lows, and I'm talking about this. But again, I really wouldn't touch this stock until 777, right? The, the beautiful slot machine pool, right? So I don't think we need too much more here. C-U-R-L-F, again, Cura Leaf is a, Cura, Cura Leaf is a, is a Canadian. I got to look at the pink. Again, and this one's really been moving a lot like True Leave. I know I've been um, watching these two a little bit more. Obviously, T God, now Bzam is newer, and then Cresco, I just sincerely don't know. But these two have been moving a lot together, right? They both kind of had that like baby, maybe move to this 50. Definitely a bad last couple days trading under all the moving averages. Has this bad boy dropped into the all time lows? No, is that. No, it's not. Okay, but look, now that we've lost this line, and again, we need the confirmation next Friday, right? Because we'll, we'll take a look at it where it is on the daily too. But look at that. This is literally nothing more than a red, 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 and then a green, 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 and then a red. Like this is a quick fall down from basically 380 to 280, right? Literally a dollar, that's, that's a third right there. And I'm telling you, that could be really quick. I'm gonna go back to the daily to see where it's at. Man, I mean, we are literally going as horizontal on this thing as we can. It looked like we were gonna go lower and go back up. I am keeping this line, but clearly we'll make one more here. Um, 330. Is, is definitely gonna be the, the number you cannot lose, okay? Because this is definitely a high enough RSI for me to believe it's gonna still go lower. I'll be honest, I, got, I have a pessimistic view on this thing right now based on Truly that we just saw. And maybe it keeps going lower to this close to 330, gets into that single digits like we've seen a lot of the other ones, and then, hey, maybe makes a recovery there, right? So. Um, try to go as horizontal for sure as you can. If you're going to lose this, so I'll give 330 the next support. But yeah, for sure. After 330, it's going to be a pretty quick fall down. So um, very careful here. Only one of three really is bullish so far. All right. And then the last one on the list is, again, new CB. Again, Cresco Labs, I gotta look at the, the pink with the F right here. Ooh, ugly, right? <laughs> New to the list, but definitely the exact same movement as True Leave and as, um, what was the last one we were just looking at? As Cura Leaf, right? So I'm putting it at the top right here. This is the money line. If we can hit $2, I'm gonna set an alert for $2 for sure. Um, again, an alert is not, ah, oh, don't do that to me, get out of here. An alert is by no means an immediate buy, but yeah, if we break that, that's a beautiful stairway of red to climb, right? That's definitely the plateau. Hey, maybe even this if it wants to run well with obviously these two in the middle stopping us, right? But where are we immediately? Man, it looks like we're gonna be going deep down. Cause again, that 30 number on the last on Cura, that I, this is what I was seeing in my head in all honesty, right? So. Um, call me a little jaded on, on the last one. But yeah, this one's kind of living up to what I feel the rest are going to look like. Let me look on the weekly. Don't make that an all-time low. Damn, you cannot lose 166, okay? I, I we've, We're literally on. So this thing opened at 174. We closed at 174. We're on the line on the weekly. And then the daily line is is, again, from... December too, so it's not like super super immediate, but yeah, do not lose 166. If it hits 165, it really could drop pretty quickly. My back of the hand number is always a 20% drop in all time lows, but again, I say it often all time lows literally is like a black hole that just keeps sucking you down. So, um, on top of that market news that I gave a little bit earlier, this is for sure super, super scary to um, to consider, really. Hey, obviously, none of this is financial advice. I appreciate you so, so much for watching this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.